Otto's Tales. Storytime brought to you by Prep, PragerU resources for educators and parents. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to share Hans Christian Andersen's famous and funny folk tale that has a very important lesson for all of us to remember. It, oh, thanks, Otto. <laughs> thanks, Otto. <laughs> kind of fun. Uh, uh, thank you, Otto. I'm good. <laughs> it's called The Emperor's New Clothes. Once upon a time, there lived an emperor who loved fancy new clothes. Jackets woven with gold, trousers laced with silver, made with the softest and most lavish materials. The emperor spent his fortune buying new costumes for every hour of every day and rarely paid attention to his people, his army, or anything else. One day, two mysterious travelers came to town. They quickly told everyone how they design the most beautiful outfits money can buy. They described a most fascinating and peculiar quality that only their garments possessed. The clothes they made had the power to become invisible to those who were not smart enough to see them in plain sight. Those must be very special and valuable clothes, the emperor thought. I must get some of my own so that I may find out who in my empire is not wise enough to serve on my staff. The emperor then paid the travelers a large sum of money so they could begin their work. The travelers <laughs> snickered as they took the emperor's payment, then set up two looms to begin their project. They called for the finest silks and threads to be delivered to them. Then they began to weave nothing. Day and night, they toiled away weaving nothing that could be seen by anyone. As for the silks and threads that were delivered to them, well, the travelers took those for themselves. About this time, the emperor was curious to see how his new wardrobe was coming along, so he sent his most intelligent advisor to check on the two men's work. Hmm. Seeing the looms, the advisor gasped in shock. <gasps> Where are all the clothes? He silently thought, but he dared not say it out loud for fear that the whole town would think him foolish. What do you think of the designs? Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> the workers asked eagerly, knowing that their looms were in fact empty. The advisor was dumbfounded. Uh, y y yes, yes, they, 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 well, they're remarkable, he replied, to not let on that he did not see any material at all. The men then described all the colors, stitches, and patterns in detail, and the advisor listened closely so he could accurately report back to the emperor. The travelers then demanded more money to finish their work. The advisor paid them and returned to the palace. The emperor soon sent another trusted advisor to check on the progress. He too saw nothing on the looms, but praised the men's work to not seem like a fool. Finally, the emperor went to get his new wardrobe. He was excited to see what everyone was now talking about as being the most elegant and magnificent wardrobe an emperor would ever wear. Entering the room, the emperor <laughs> was shocked. There are no clothes here, he thought, but he didn't want to look like a fool, so he pretended to see what everyone else said they saw. Why don't you try on your new clothes? One of the travelers suggested. So the emperor did. He pulled on invisible pants, an invisible shirt, an invisible jacket, and topped off his ensemble with an invisible hat. The two men even helped him adjust an invisible belt. But really, the emperor was wearing nothing. The emperor then set out on a walk to show everyone in his town the outfit that only smart people would be able to see. The townspeople applauded and complimented him. What handsome garments, what luxurious materials. Each person was too scared to admit that the emperor wasn't wearing any clothes at all for fear their neighbors would think them fools. The emperor then started to feel very good about himself in his new clothes. Then, out from the crowd, a child stepped up and shouted, He has nothing on! The townspeople looked at each other, looked at the emperor, gasped, and then agreed, 
one by one until everyone admitted the same truth. You're right, he has nothing on. They all covered their eyes with embarrassment. The emperor knew he was naked as well, but pretended that all the townspeople were too foolish to see his fancy new clothes, even though he knew he wasn't wearing any and that the travelers had lied to him. I must keep up this act, he thought, to not look like a fool. The emperor returned to his palace, his advisors still too frightened to admit the new clothes were a lie. Eventually, the emperor asked the two travelers to make new clothes for his advisors too, so that they could all wear invisible garments because they were too scared to admit that they had all been fooled. And for the rest of their days, they looked like fools to everyone else. The end. This is one of my favorite stories ever because it reminds us that truth is real. There is only one truth, and it's important for us to learn how to find it and to not be afraid to speak up for it, even if no one else will. Once someone sees another person speak up for truth, more start speaking up too. Oh, no! oh. Well, thank you! Hey, do you think it was hard for the townspeople to admit that something was wrong? Oh. Yes, but protecting truth is always important for all of us. Never forget that, okay? <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and never be afraid to tell the truth. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I like my new hat. <laughs> We're so glad you joined us for today's reading. Storytime is made possible through the generous support of donors like you. You can help keep the stories coming by going to PragerU.com slash donate today.